Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you how to change theme dynamically in ASP.NET Core. You, you know that the first page or the master page actually existing in the layout. You can say that it's a layout or CSS HTML file and here uh, that code is actually exist in the shared folder. So first of all, uh, just I am going to design two layout page in the shared folder and both are using Bootswash theme uh that is actually use a uh, navigation bar only so just i'm going to create a new uh, fresh project in usp.net code that is uh, test web api web app and uh, in the test web app just i'm going to create two layout page under the shared folder so you can see so uh, here we have the single layout.cs html file and just I'm going to change the layout.cs HTML file navigation menu. And uh, you know that if uh, both navigation menu is, uh, if it is, uh, if you want to change the navigation menu at any time, so you just want to change the layout page, you can say. So, so here I'm going to add the first menu that is like that 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 is the this types of the menu you can say and and the second one and you can say it's a shared uh, it's a prototype just i want to give you and you can uh, you can uh, use this prototype and change the whole uh, theme and you can add multiple themes in your project so here I'm going to add a new layout page again and that is the layout2.css HTML. The name of the razor, razor view or you can say that add a new empty view like view and here we have a razor view empty and just I'm going to select any razor view empty page like that. The default name is index.css HTML. Just I want to change this with underscore pref preferred with the underscore that is layout dot uh, layout two dot css html file that is empty file you can see and now just I am going to add layout dot css html file so just copy all the code and just paste it under the layout two dot css html file and also change the navigation menu uh, uh, with the help of the boots was theme. So here we have that is the uh, that is the second type of menu. So so here we have that that is the layout two dot CSS HTML file. Okay. And that is the layout.cs HTML and that is the layout.layout2.cs HTML under the shared folder. Now just open your controller that is the home controller by default. Or you can set add another controller. The name of the controller you can take that is the theme controller or according to you. So that is the themes controller. Just I want to take it here. So the name is theme controller. And just I want to replace the code with my uh, already created code. That is the public uh, theme controller controller I action result index and the layout is underscore layout. That is the default theme layout. The second one theme is request dot query. Request is a, a form uh, property that uh, that return the query string value. Uh, so request dot query that is the theme just I want to get it from the query string that is theme and get the value of the theme key you know that the query is actually hold uh, dictionary type value key and value pair so request dot query is the theme and just I want to check uh, which layout is used actually so here we have a razor view on your index section method that is index.cshtml file where you can set 
uh, both uh, the theme that is theme one and theme two. Theme one uh, is support to layout.css table file, and theme two is support uh, layout2.css table file. So on that behalf, you can set the view data that is the set the layout on the behalf of view data because layout is actually checked. Uh, if the theme is theme 2, then layout is layout 2. If theme is theme 1, then layout is layout 2. So uh, that is the query string value theme equals to theme 2, theme equals to theme 1. Okay, so also change the default map controller route. Theme. So here we have inside the index.html file and the controller code. So here we have switch to theme 2, switch to uh, theme 1 and switch to theme 2 that is the query string value is theme 2 and theme 1. So theme 2 is the navigation you can change and according to theme 1 you can set the view data again theme 1. So thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to csp.net core.